Well, needless to say, uh, just about every single Arab uh, state needs uh, a comprehensive political reforms because I think the Arab youth has been awakened. You know, if you look at the new technologies, the new uh, ability to, to for, for gathering information, there is no way that the Arab youth could remain uh, asleep, so to speak, uh, for any uh, for much longer. Uh, so they have been awakened. But these, however important these political reforms, and however they may succeed in the various Arab countries that already experienced the revolution, be that Tunisia, Egypt, uh, certainly Libya, Yemen, and others, even if they were successful in uh, developing or you know, begin this type of reform, these reform will not succeed unless they are accompanied concurrently with economic development. We have to keep in mind that the majority of the Arab states uh, are poor, you know, short of those uh, the oil producing nations. Uh, the majority, for example, of the, of the Egyptian, nearly 40, 50 million living under the poverty line. So you can give them all the political reform, you can give them freedom, democracy, and everything else, but they cannot wake up in the morning and eat reform. They need, to, they need food, they need health care, they need education, they need opportunities. So the hands, political reform cannot succeed and will not succeed unless they are accompanied by economic you know, development, specifically based on sustainable participatory development, whereby the government, uh, NGOs provide limited funding and without sophisticated technology, literally to thousands of villages who they decide themselves about the kind of project they want, and hence you and empower the people themselves so the process of political development will have to become will be the, from bottom up rather than top to bottom. And in so doing, you are actually also instilling, striking the roots for democratic reform. Because these villagers, when they get together, they have to agree on the kind of project they want. And it is that kind of advice and consent that would begin the, the, the process of political development, without which, no matter what effort governments may do, and even if they succeed, this, without economic development, what we will be seeing in the future is another revolution, because political reform in and of themselves will not feed the people. Basically, they want food and freedom, not just freedom.